Good evening, everyone. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to this year's Christmas Eve service. I have always felt the anticipation as I looked at the excited faces of the children from the choir loft. Hey, I used to be one of those excited children. Their cheeks are usually flushed and they are very squirmy. I love to see the full house at church. Oftentimes, family members were coming home for Christmas. In the olden days, extra chairs had to be placed in the aisles. I was so happy to meet up with my friends once again. Back in the day, I was part of Sam's teen Sunday school class and Reverend Sam's youth group. So I remember putting on the best Christmas pageant ever on Christmas Eve, 1984. And I recall that it was another difficult Christmas Eve for very different reasons though, as Reverend Sam suddenly passed away the day before our show. We were all heartbroken, but we put on the best show that we could in his memory. Hardship and Christmas Eve go hand in hand. The birth of Jesus and the amazing star, the choirs of angels and the gold frankincense and myrrh make this story magical. But we can't forget that there was also poverty, the fear of power-hungry kings, surprise pregnancy, and arduous trips to faraway towns to contend with. And of course, this story of Jesus eventually brings us to the foot of the cross. Christmas brings out the happy in us and the sad. We anticipate, plan, prepare, cook, clean, bake, gift, and visit. Sadly, we also lose loved ones and we mourn the loss of other important people who made our lives complete, especially at special occasions. Tonight, we try our best to uphold the traditions and memories of the past while playing the hand that we have been dealt in 2020 to the best of our ability. And we look towards the future when we can be together once more, continuing to celebrate Christ's birth with our family and friends. Being together in the same room, breathing the same air, and not worrying about droplets is something we will never take for granted again, I think. I can't wait to worship with you in St. John's once more. There are a couple of other interesting facts in regards to two songs performed this evening. Feliz Navidad is celebrating its 50th year of being written by Jose Feliciano. He wrote the song to unite people with its holiday cheer and bilingual lyrics. I think you will feel cheered by this song performed by the praise team. Karen is performing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, which has always been one of my favorite secular Christmas carols. I remember my mom always playing this one when she sat down for her daily piano playing quiet time. Judy Garland sang this one in the movie called Meet Me in St. Louis in 1944. The original lyrics were changed by Frank Sinatra because he didn't find them joyful enough. But if you listen carefully, you will definitely connect the lyrics to the challenges that 2020 has brought to us coupled with much hope for the future. We hope your hearts become fuller as you listen to this evening's musical offerings. Merry Christmas, everyone. May the star of Bethlehem, that coincidentally rose on Tuesday night and hasn't been seen at night since 1226, may the star of Bethlehem guide you to the stable tonight where you can share in the joy of Mary and Joseph as the light of the world was born. 
May God bless you and keep you all. Have a great Christmas.